Hey y'all, it's Sable, welcome back. This video is a basic bar booty workout. I'm gonna set up every position with you and give you lots of instruction so that you can really focus on isolating the muscles that we're trying to work. If you're new to bar or just wanna brush up on your technique, this is a great place to start. So we're gonna start with our weight in between our right and left foot, heel of the right foot, ball of the foot on the left, and I want you to squeeze and release, squeeze, and release. So act like there's a fist in that seat muscle. We're pulling it in and we're letting it out. Pull, release, okay? Make sure whichever direction that you're facing, your hips are squared. Don't turn out, nice and square. And with all bar work, we're gonna focus on our posture. Abs are always engaged. Shoulders are always down in line with our hips. Now on this move, you need to think about not bending the knee and squeezing out. That's not putting the work right where we want it. We want it right here. And we're really gonna engage a contraction here by holding it in five, four, three, two, one. Same thing on the other side, okay? So whichever direction that you face, square off the hips, pull, let it out. Pull, let it out. So knee is nice and straight on my right leg. Softly bent on my left. I'm engaging up through my rib cage, pretending I'm a ballerina, although I have no dance experience. Pull in, pull out, okay? Right here. This is always where I start with seat warm up for basic bar because this helps you make those mind muscle connections so you can start to engage with your body. And let's hold that in here. Hold it five, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna take a bent adductor lift. So we're gonna soften into your right leg, lift out on the side on the left. So knees draw together. Foot is flexed on your left leg and pull it in. So it's not so much about how high you're going because that causes you to lose your form. It's more about that squeeze on the way in. So imagine sweeping your knee through water right here. And this is a basic bar because I'm not gonna layer. We're not gonna do two minutes on each leg or three minutes. And we're not gonna do a lot of complex variations. We're gonna focus on the setup, the control, and the form. Keep it lifted, one more. All right, and we're gonna do the other side. I am gonna turn for this. Soften that left leg, right knee's coming out. Let me turn it this way. So now you can see how flexed my right foot is. The more you flex that foot, the more hamstring action you're gonna get right here. And then on our lift out, we're getting your little side booty right here. So as you focus down, are you still engaging your abs? Are you still thinking about your posture? Keep it going, we've got two more lifts here. Two and one, well done. Now we're gonna take calf raises or heel lifts. So we lift up, we lower down. But the thing is, I don't want your heels to actually touch the mat. I want your heels to hover. What that does is keep your hamstring and your low glutes engaged. 
So if you're doing this move correctly, giving a little squeeze here in the top, it pushes it out of your calves into your seat. So you practice this form right here and then you can increase your speed. Then you can increase your variations and the muscles will remember, your body will remember the work. Let's try that here. Lift, good. You should have a little heat building right here. Five, four, three, two, hold it up. Three, two, one. I'm gonna turn into my support here. I'm gonna start with my right leg and fold over position. So you're gonna rest on your support, soften your right knee, square your body down, and push and pull. I'm pointing the toe on my left foot on this one. Push and pull. So your weight is in your right heel. your chest toward your support. And again, it's not so much about height. If you wanna stop here, that's fine. It's about finding this contraction right here, pushing against that invisible wall behind you. Keeping your abs drawn in. There's so much core work in every bar program. It doesn't matter if you're actually working core. You're always working core. That's it. Let's take the other side. So find your foot first. Weight in the left heel. Soften the left knee. Push and pull right here. Put your chest toward your support. Let's talk about weight distribution right here. So I actually have probably 70% of my weight in my left heel, 30% on my support. You wanna put your weight in your body, not on your bar, not on your chair. We're almost there. Give me three more, and two, and one. Well done, if you're doing this correctly, you should have nice tone, a little bit of heart rate work. I'm gonna take arabesque position. Now this is our last two minutes here. Oh, I'm so sad, we're almost done with this basic bar. So soften the right, and I am opening the hips on this one. So we're taking it out. This is sort of a classic ballerina ballerina pose and you're isolating right here on the top your top glute now again about 70 30 weight distribution and squeeze when you lift away from the floor Pointing through the toe. We got this, we're almost there. And let's hold that out for five, four, three, two, and one. Now I'm gonna step out for my support. I think if I have room to do my right leg, You don't have to do this at home. It takes a little balance and strength and control that you will build over time. But I just don't want to turn away from you right here. So open the hip, isolate, squeeze. You should feel this right here where your low back meets the top of your butt. <laughs> butt, booty, seat. It's all the same thing that we're trying to get.
Don't lose your posture. Don't lean. Put your weight in your right, left, that's left heel. And we're almost there. We're gonna get ready for our last hold. And let's hold that leg out. Five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful work. How do you feel? Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for joining me for this basic bar booty workout. I'll see you next time.